one of the most confusing things or the most hard to explain things on a sprayer is the nozzle body. It's a broad term. It means a lot of different things. But basically, it's the component on the sprayer boom that holds the nozzle in place. And this is There's many different forms of it. On a common version on a spray boom is the T-Jet quick jet version. It has these square lugs on the side so you can quickly put a cap and nozzle in place. They're designed with many different cap styles to hold different types of tips and align them. This would be a dry boom nozzle body because you would connect hoses to it and you would clamp it to your boom pipe. Just like this. There is the L style, which would be on the end of a boom section where it would just have one hose coming in. This style would mount further up the boom so you would have a hose coming in and out to supply the other nozzle bodies. Now this is the modern upgrade, really useful version, but there are others. On the end of your spray wands and on some spray booms is nozzle body thread. And a threaded cap will fit over this to hold the nozzle in place. They're not as convenient because you can't quickly put your cap on and off and it does not align the nozzles automatically. Now, if you have a spray wand or a backpack sprayer with one of these wands, if you want to be able to quickly change out your nozzles, you can adapt this to this quick jet end. It looks something like this. There's many different ways to do it. I've got two elbows here so you can kind of reach and get up over something and spray. It just takes a couple of adapters. And here we see the quick jet tabs and the cap. This cap has quarter inch pipe thread on the end of it so I can screw in this pipe nipple and adapt my adjustable spray tip to it. I have another video that shows me putting this together. You can see that in the description below. Thank you for watching.